And I mean, in the history of Dr. Boz versus Parkinson's, Parkinson's has like 3,500 patients. I have zero. Parkinson's wins every time. And the, the biggest moment of people who have chronic problems under the hood is they have no idea that it's coming. And once that lands, the reversal is much worse. Seeing it 10 years before it's supposed to be there, this is a gift of saying, let me show you how to undo that. Back away from the edge. It's that brain function that you're going to miss the most when it doesn't work. And it's linked to all of these things like the arthritis, the you know weight around the middle, the high blood pressure, the severe uh, connection to mental uh, approach, meaning you can say depression, but people say, oh, I don't have that diagnosis. I'm talking about a brain that doesn't want to engage, that doesn't find joy in their life anymore because it's been too many years since they took out the trash. Make him a little fluffier. Is that the only consequence of high insulin is that I'm gonna, I might be a bit more fat? No, that's just the one people hear about the most. When you look at chronic disease management, it is the growth of, of the diseases, of the inflammation. It's the making of the trash. So I keep saying, you, know, you need to take the trash out routinely, which means that insulin, which has been smoldering higher than you think it is, because you live in today's world, because you eat processed food, because you eat super late at night, uh, you don't go two to three days without eating. You've, you've got storage filled in your body. The high insulin levels in a healthy person hides that the debris is being made and you don't know it. The trash doesn't get taken out until the insulin gets lower. And unfortunately, most people have been making buckets of insulin without knowing it. Why? What are they doing to create buckets of insulin? All the things you said about- Carbs, um, um, foods that comes from boxes and barcodes and uh, bags instead of whole foods, instead of a fat forward diet, which would then push that body into making ketones. So you, can't, you cannot make a ketone if your insulin's high. Are there any signs that I might have high levels of insulin or insulin resistance? That'll be the answer is you, when you have excess insulin, which is this chronic disease maker, uh, it is what makes cancer. It is what makes high blood pressure. It is what makes debris in the brain where, call it depression or brain fog or Parkinson's. It's the aging of the brain. It's linked to all of those things. All